Good morning, gamers. Today is Tuesday, and Tuesday means we're playing Druid. Don't ask me why I don't make the rules. Uh, we're playing Hero Power Druid. I've actually been having a lot of fun with this deck, and, you know, somewhat successful. I am Diamond 2 now. I know all of you guys think I'm bad at this game, but I swear to God, I can play this game at a decent level. Uh, now, is this deck good? You might be asking yourself. You might be looking at this and going like, Raren, is this the deck for me to get Legend? And it's probably not. Maybe after nerfs, it gets a little bit better, but... This deck is more just if you want your big hero power number to go up and then the serotonin also in your body to go up. So you get like this perfect blend of a good morning celebration playing Hearthstone. I don't know if anyone else feels that, but I do like hitting a button and watching my hero power go up. All right, Shaman is a, probably a free matchup if this is Nature Shaman, just because of the amount of armor we can get. I'm gonna keep this just for the growth but I'm going to look for the free spirit over the groovy cat and we get it because I'm the best gamer on the planet. That's what this card. If this is nature shaman, just it's free because you know how warrior gets a lot of armor. This is the same concept. It's a free spirit. Fun fact about these cards. I revealed them and that was fun because they, they, they're, they're pretty fun. I like the, the concept of these cards. I'm a big fan. All right, Ignis is great. Now, if you're wondering what Ignis is here for, it's because your hero power gives you a lot of attack. If you get a Wind Fury, it is pretty spicy. Now, I don't really want to hit the button for two armor. I'm just going to do this and hope I get a that card is insane. So we're going to take that. Uh, an extra one of those feels really good. It would have been awesome if we got the Groovy Cat there, but we don't need it. We're going to go for Wild Growth next turn, too, by the way. Hopefully this is Nature Shaman. It might be Highlander. Highlander should not be a hard matchup, though. Ooh, it might be the Tendril Shaman. We're going to have to spice things up here. Hold on a second. Now, that's what I'm talking about. But I will take the Wild Goat first because I like ramping more. You know, it's weird. The last video I posted on this channel about standard gameplay was with Highlander Rogue. And, you know, during when I was playing Highlander Rogue, I wasn't really liking it that much, like this, this expansion. But the more I play with it, the more I am enjoying it. I guess because I was like, man, I really want rotation to really change things up. But... I feel like there's so many different decks to play right now. Even if there is a lot of like Paladin and stuff, it's still like a pretty fun game at the moment. I need to trade these off at some point, but might as well keep them on the board for the easy chip damage because all this damage is going to be pretty relevant. Hopefully Hero Power Druid does not get nerfed. Like if nerfs happen this week, which I feel like they will, I would be very surprised if they if they didn't. Um, we'll have to wait and see what they actually end up doing, right? Fairy tale forest once again for what? What are we doing here? Ro Ro No House? What the hell is this guy's name? Is it Ro Ro No House? I don't know. I'm not gonna bother. I'm trying to figure this out. I am confused on what this guy's doing. Highlander? Nature? Tendril? What is it? The Tendril deck is just better for Warrior, I feel like. I'm not sure why. That's unfortunate. I always forget that's a shaman card, man. I guess like it shouldn't be another groovy cat. I'm really looking for the forge card. I don't really want to play this because it's not really that great. So we'll just smack him in the face and gain some armor. It's fine. <clears throat> it always feels so weird when this Cthune thing just absolutely <laughs> smacks someone with a laser. I feel like the laser should get bigger based on how much attack your hero does. Oh, it is this. Okay. Yeah, it is the Tendril Duck. All right. Nice. Okay. Drawing cards on grades. Oh, that's incredible. I see that is spooky strength. as fuck. Do I have a beast in my deck? I played both spirits and I played both cats. I don't think there's a beast in my deck, so I'm going to discover a beast. I actually low key think, oh, plus one attack. Now nah, I'm going to take the thing here. I, mean, I think drawing is more important. Hmm. Well, we're going to see what he's going to do. Eonora would be a pretty sick draw here just to get like a bunch of cards in my hand because we, we are we are lacking on card draw here. There needs to be more and more cards in my hand because we, we got like. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. OK. We'll be OK. We can do uh, this. Get refresh the hero power because we got one anyways next turn. I don't think I have to smack into this though, which is a bit depressing. How much damage is this? If I go space right now, 
If I hit him for 10, he would go down to 14 because of the one damage. And then next turn, I don't get lethal, I don't think. But I could steal his board. I kind of like that more. This puts a lot more pressure on him. The, the sick thing about this deck with the popular pixie is that if you get the, I forget what the card's called, like the toy box or whatever, the two mana card. Okay, it's not Highlander. So it is the tendril deck for sure. Yeah, if you if you get that combo with the pixie and you hero power, God, it just feels so good. And then you can do it again. It's just, it's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. Ah, my God, he got so much light from that. That's unfortunate. Well, if that was the turn, I'm basically going to just steal this Alex Straza here with my Yogg. That'll be okay. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Big game hunter. I mean, I don't think there's a better target to steal, so I'm just gonna take this. His hand's a bunch of like nonsense, I believe. Yo, give me a card draw, please. I'll love you forever, y'all. My favorite card. That's actually not that bad. Or nice. <laughs> Big game hunter is another card in this deck that's really surprising. Just because. There, Druid has this weird problem. Oh my god, wait, he's speaking of big game hunter about the roll this kid. Um, Druid has a, like some trouble dealing with like big attack minions and like Paladin because Paladin's all about you know making big boys with their hand buffs. Big game hunter actually becomes a pretty relevant threat. Oh man, that sucks. Big game hunter actually becomes a pretty uh important card to be in this deck. You, you, the max of this is six unless you get like spell damage, which is bad. I get big stuff at least. It'll be interesting to see if this is still needed after like Paladin's nerfing. Mm, okay, I will be trading this. It's unfortunate because I don't want to do this, but that's the card I needed. Un unironically, because now we can get a 10 cost here. Da, da, da. Wind Fury would be excellent we didn't get wind fury uh this is really good so we'll take that and drawing cards over gaining armor or six damage i kind of like drawing the cards i feel like that's really strong so because that's good we want a hero power probably instead obviously we can hit one of these and do one of those I'm going to keep one of these frogs up just because this actually does a lot of damage. Maybe drawing three cards wasn't the play because I'm going to draw six times three, but it should be all right. Okay. Sucks, but it's nothing not the worst. Okay. Very rude is what I'll say. Ooh. Is this truly better? I still think it's good. So I guess the great thing is I can do this. Well, hold on. This actually is just better. We do this, and then we hit this. We can kill one of these. Uh, do I want to draw more cards? Drawing is probably not necessary. We can also just do it next turn. I want to swing, which I will have to swing. I don't know if drawing was correct. It's probably okay. doesn't really matter that's also fine uh the location here is really weird i don't know how cleave actually interacts with this i'm gonna have to figure not tom please nice how does cleave interact with this card i have no idea does it hit it i really hope it does <laughs> like it's gonna suck if it doesn't um okay let's do this first see what we got don't really want that this is fine to buff some stuff up in my hand that's so it's a little bit more relevant i mean the rest of these are i mean this could be good with rush actually rush isn't the worst thing um we need to get some cards out of our hand Nature speaks through my tunes. do i even need to discover a beast i will just discover one though the gatling gun that's kind of fun oh that's like infinite value if i need it but i don't think that's going to be really relevant All right, we're gonna test this for science. Does this work the way I think it does? Does it hit this? Okay, so it doesn't make sense. Again, I just wasn't 100% sure there. Uh, do I care if they draw? Not really. They're kind of already out like a lot of cards. 
I do regret taking the draw. I don't think it was needed in hindsight. I should have just taken the damage because I have to like plan my turns out a little bit more. Okay. I don't have Shutter Walk because they got rid of their mini, which is a really big deal. The the fact that I cast that three cost card is huge. This is fine too most of the time. Oh God! Should have killed the totem. I mean, we can answer. That's not even a problem. Death cannot be found. Oh, that's a problem. <laughs> Rag. All right, I am gonna draw cards here, unfortunately. So I have to do like this. I want to play Zok. Zok here is really, really powerful. An 11 6 guy. Like, Jesus Christ. Well played. I could just smack face, though, bro. Because I feel like hitting this is so bad. You know, like, I, I, I feel like I have to hit it, though. This makes me upset. What am I burning here is the better question. So I'd rather burn that than something else. Okay. No, my buddies. No, my pixies. See, I don't know if that was correct. Maybe I should just hit face. This weapon. <laughs> I don't even have. <laughs> I feel like this might be the one of the worst games I've ever seen. It's just two idiots playing against each other in a classic game of Hearthstone. Oh my god, they actually have the answer there. What am I burning? No, that's so sad. All right, let's get some cards out of my hand. I don't think this draws me anything. Okay, nice. Um. This is fine. I need to kill him, so. I should be almost out of cards, though. That's an additional swipe. Okay, we did get burn, which is good. Oh, I surely will be okay here, right? Like, I feel like I have enough damage to run through this. Okay, it's fine. It's, it's still doing 10 damage. I mean, it's lethal still. I'm going to fatigue myself and then die. So we're definitely doing this. That's happening for sure. We are going to refresh our mana crystals here. This is happening for sure. I think I'm just doing this. This one goes here. This swipe goes here. I think it's still mandatory for me to smack face. I need to set up lethal. It's, I mean, this this is irrelevant. Cause I, I need to hit face here. <laughs> My hand is so bad. My hand is all draw, except for this, I guess. Surely I win this, right? Oh my God, this was the craziest game I've played in a while. So bad. Hey, big. Seven be okay Not a lot of bad sevens that's a bad seven. Oh my god no way no dude oh god and he got another taunt well played i mean i have to hit this and then what this hits this, this hits this, and then I get lethal of hopefully the following turn. This guy's saying well played like the game is still not over. I could have actually, I should have played the uh, the other one. This doesn't draw me fatigue, right? Okay, surely it's GG, right? Please. Surely it's game over. Surely. What was that? His tendrils are like seven. I don't even know what I'm taking. I'm taking six. Oh my god, please concede, dude. There's no way I lose this. No! I 
ain't gonna I lose, right? I lose. I'm gonna lose this game. I lost that game because of the, the draw on my side, but fuck man, <laughs> y'all was brutal. All right, let's beat a warlock, shall we? Warlocks are pussies. Only people who like warlock hate themselves. Could it be me? I'm gonna look for the one cost cards again and the two cost cards. We'll see if we get them. Warlock might be a little bit harder to deal with because they just play a lot of big boys, but maybe they're teching against paladins at this point that we should be okay. And listen, I am diamond three now. I uh, I was playing a couple games off stream. Let's just say they didn't go well, but this one's a dub ski. This is a great hand actually. Uh, I'm gonna play this first. Make sure we draw a card. Probably play the Groovy Cat. I feel like the way I'm gonna, you know what card I really miss to this archetype is Rake. My God, you remember Rake, bro? What expansion was that from? That was from like Nathria, maybe? Maybe it was from, I don't think it was from Voyage. It was Nathria or March of the Lich King. I just can't remember anymore. It's crazy how many years Hearthstone's had. And I, I try to remember, I can remember a lot of cards, but like maybe in the moment, it's really difficult to actually remember what expansion they're from. What is this guy playing? Fracking is extremely interesting. I wonder. Uh, let's play the cat. That card costs two mana. I don't really care about armor this matchup. I don't think like armor is going to matter because obviously I don't want to die, but I don't give a fuck. Also, what's my cat saying back there? What's she saying? She just clean herself up. Yeah, my cat lives on that couch seat, bro. It's actually like perfect. I didn't think she was going to use it as much as she is, but she loves that shit. All right, uh, this is table flipping almost guaranteed. So I feel like I should do this and then maybe this. I was thinking about doing this and this and forcing it, but they don't have it. I kind of look like an idiot. Or if they if they do have it, I feel like it's not as good. If they don't have it, obviously my other play was better. It's probably just the location though. we'll see. It's the location I, uh, they can't play a mountain giant or the four cost or the four like the taunt health and attacker equal to like your hand size they can't play that card because they'd have to play that and then coin them they just well i guess they could play the four cost one but it wouldn't be as big they're tapping though is this the card yeah see that's what i was playing around i had a i had a feeling i'll take it pretty weak card unfortunately all right let's do this first uh that's a cat i don't like cats and yeah i guess we'll just kind of do this We'll get a really big hero power. Hopefully this will be enough to actually win the game. Spread the word is free. We don't want to make the mistake we did last time by picking a weapon that draws us three card each time because I feel like that's stupid. We want to um, we want to pick a better. We want a win fury weapon basically is what I'm saying. If we can get a win fury weapon, that would be pretty awesome. But the question is, will we get it? It's probably not. We get through an eyeball. Oh, nice. I'm actually okay with this. This is so much damage. Six attack. Look at my hero power, man. Oh my god. Okay. This is great too, because those will come up at some point. Worst case scenario, we can just forge this so we can find our Ignis. Yoxron's good. Sing along, buddy. Oh yeah, we'll just forge this hit face. Casual six damage for two mana. You know how it'd be. And we drew two cards for virtually free. This is where it becomes a little bit questionable though, because the second they start dropping big taunts, it's gonna be rough. But I guess we could go like this in the sing along, buddy. We definitely want to smack him face. Also, we are really close to lethal. What is this, Loken? Or what, what are the hell it's called? Doomkin. How good is just sing along buddy and then just hit face for 12 and the next turn we can swipe them. Like they'll, they'll have to heal and I kind of like that. That's just too much damage to pass up on, right? Like, what, what are you gonna do about this bitch? They can heal, I guess, but like tapping brings them to four, but that's two mana to tap. And I've seen them lose one drain soul already because of the fracking. Wow. This could be really ah. Uh, I mean, they're still dead. Are they dead? Hero power plus Malfurion's gift because uh, swipe is three. That's fine. That's fine. It's free. Well played. I fucking knew that was the play, bitch. Uh, I mean, that's also really good. <laughs> that opener was so good. That opener was so good. So good. That, that completely made up for the shaman game, right? Where I was for sure going to win that and then I lost because I draw. But we'll take that. That was a good game. All 
All right, time for the real matchup. My dreaming ends. Apparently, it's getting nerfed quite, quite a bit soon, so that's nice to see. I will keep this, but everything else is kind of whatever. I don't really want to keep the Summer Flower Child because I, I would want to find cards that I can play the early game. Unfortunately, these are all bad. The light dims, mm. but fight. Not a big fan of that, and I really don't want to forge that because it doesn't do much. I could maybe, maybe I just coin play this. Maybe that's just the play. Sure. Oh, anyway, it, it stays alive, and I, at least I can kill it. Even if they play Hand of a Doll, I can kill it, which is nice. He's a big boy. A one four stat line is just so nuts. Yeah, I'm really glad I played it because if if I didn't, this just this just gets so many cards. Well, it's gonna get a lot of cards anyways, but at least I can get through this. Okay. Hopefully it lives. If they buff it again, it's fine. It's not a big deal because I, I can kill it with the hero power next turn. I mean, if they do buff it, it's actually not great. Oh, no. The second Righteous Protector is so illegal, bro. Oh, my God. Paladin. Oh. I bumped and swiped. This still draws no matter what. Shadows are I think this is still better. Oh, that is so depressing. I guess whatever trades, the swipe gets to clear it. So that's nice ish. Probably not great though. God, that, that was such a bad. Oh, that's so. I'm miserable. <laughs> Rough. Keep on painting. Uh, hmm. I guess at this point, they're drawing infinite cards. Nature speaks. All right, the cat's nice, but God, I, this one's probably already cooked, man. Uh, let's be real here. Come in here. Hmm. I just don't know how I win. I think it's the point where Yogg's playable, I'm pretty sure. This is probably okay too, because at least this will become one mana after I hear a power after it's dead. I'm just I'm just trying to think about how I can actually win this game. It's Paladin. After they've already buffed their hand like infinite, right? I think it's just GG. I don't I, I'm trying to think of like how I actually win this. I think it's just hope that I can draw to this. Oh my god. I mean, they're going for the turbo greedy play, so it actually might get me there. He said coping, but this gold panner has been on the board. For, I mean, that, you know what? Surprisingly, that's a really good card to see. How do we feel about swipe, swipe? Swipe this, swipe this. And then I have big game hunter for next turn. Got for it, man. Yeah. Just to stay alive. Next, my armor total, which is really, really important. Maybe we get there. I'm not sure. The game hunter, hero power plus. This is insane. But he's literally getting like his minions have plus four, plus four in all the attacks. Okay. I mean, every turn he just he doesn't do anything. I'm I'm happy about. It. Wow, really? So greedy with this paladin player here, man. Okay. So I can hero power. If I'm here, probably I'm gonna play this. Get the armor. It's not really doing anything, unfortunately. I don't really want to leave this four or five up, but I don't really have a decision not to, right? I also think this is just okay. I don't think I'm ever gonna go for like a big dude. And by big dude, I mean like a um, big swing turn with Ignis. I just don't have the time. So I just have to basically live one more turn and I think I'll be okay. Also, I guess like this plus this isn't horrible because we get like two, three, fives here. What is this? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it has to be a big game hunter here for sure. Oh, my God. Disgusting. 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 It's disgusting. How is that allowed? <laughs> Okay, I mean this has to happen. I've got the beast in my sight. Joyce makes me laugh. 
because I guarantee they were never expecting that. I mean, the thing is, if I kill this, does it really make a difference here? So this is six, twelve. We can do this here. It goes to what? It goes to uh, nine, eight. Hero power of this for sure. I'd be surprised if I'm not dead. I'm never gonna be able to forge ever again. So if I'm somehow still alive after this, I don't know. I'm probably just dead, right? Shoes can be just wins the game. Holy moly, bro! So disgusting. This paladin deck is so disgusting. So gross. Like, I, I I feel like there's nothing I could have done in this game, which is crazy to me. Yeah, I don't know. That's really tough. Well, I'm not getting shrooms committed. Any Lee Raid? Yeah, that makes sense. What is that? Do you think they'll good about that win? I would hope they wouldn't. I would, I would hope that they would like, they'd be like, ah, that one's kind of nasty. Alright. I hope this is the, uh, your I'm, gonna keep, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna try keeping the Summer Flower Child. I really hope this is the Hero Power Druid one. God, I'm so tired of oh, having this card in my opening hand. It would be great if Ocean's I didn't. Uh, card does nice, so I'll take that. What do you got, Gabby? Boot hoarder never looked more beautiful than this moment. Nature speaks. Oh, is it a hero power versus hero power matchup? Watch this be the iconic. <laughs> the iconic who gets the better weapon from Ignis. Can't wait for that. Maybe I hope it doesn't come down to that, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I'm really glad I kept this then. Also, Zok in this matchup should be really good. Hmm. Doesn't really do much. They forge there, so let's do this. I'm going to try to find a forge card if I can right here. I mean, that's a cat. Whatever. We'll take it. Well, hopefully it ends up being good. Okay. Free spirit. Embrace of nature. If we're drawing something which is spooky, but again, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Like a forge card? That is a forge card. I'll actually just do that right now. Because that way I can just go to Summer Flower Child right right next turn. Okay, that is awesome. Two mana to like with this, the synergy here is insane. With a single long buddy plus the popular pixie. This is the dream synergy right here. Plus the weapon, but I want to play this first because this will give me a discounted Yogg and Ianar, I think. Is the other one? So he has a lot of defense, not a lot of attack yet. That's enough to kill my lewd hoarder, unfortunately. Another sing along, buddy. That doesn't really help me. Yeah, Enor's great. And then Yogg. So eight mana Yogg is ginormous. What do I want to do next turn? I need to find my armor, boys, because the problem with my Zoc right now is it kind of just sucks. They'll be really big statted minions, but they won't be very powerful. This plus this though goes insane. You can get there. God, they really got everything. No, please, Mr. Druid. Display unless they're gonna attack. Okay. All right, we can play the Ignis then. Go for the fight. Unless I get some. Mmm. Okay, hold on. Let's start with this. Pyromancer is not bad. It's just not very good right now. It'd be useful later. So the problem is I kind of have to play it. Do I want to just swipe his face here? It feels really weird. I would like to play Ignis if I could, but I don't want to burn a card. I could go for the one cost weapon, but that also seems really bad. I mean, I'm kind of okay with just doing this. Get some damage. And then next year we can go Ignis into something <laughs> into something because Eodor is only going to it's only going to refresh nine mana, which is a bit weird, but it's not that bad. Feel the 
Ooh. See, I used to run Sky Mother Aviana, but the problem is, is that it it actually just makes your draw so bad that I feel like it's not worth running. Okay, let's run the Pyromancer. I just put the Pyromancer after uh, we discover this. I'll take a 10. I will take that. I will take. We don't want that. So uh, we'll take that. <laughs> That's obviously going face. Okay, so next turn we can Yogg. If I need to, Zok is still kind of whatever. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got going for me right now. Okay, that's a lot of armor. Like, okay, it's not too. Oh, this into the. Hold on a second. This might be spicy as fuck. They didn't draw a legendary, otherwise they would have played it. Oh wait, hold on. Wait. What are they killing here? I feel like that was a little bad. <laughs> Could just be me though. Hey, game hunter. Okay, I'm I'm willing to do this because then I can just trade the pyro after. Uh, I don't think my yog's very good. Let's just replace his one card anyways. Oh, nice. Okay, because I don't want to play this. Worst case, I can just play this and this. Nice. Um, I guess we could just go for this. It's most damage. I mean, if they swipe me, they swipe me, but I, I feel really good about winning this game because next turn we can go this refresh hero power Zok, which I think is fine, especially if that just dies. What's the word? Like th this card is just, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Geppetto is turbo greedy. But I like it a lot. If I want to play Aviana here. I kind of do, right? Aviana refresh. Play the Yogg. Force them to kill each other. Yeah. Force them to swing at each other because they all die. Which is big. I got a stolen, but I feel like that's definitely worse. Nice. Could be really good. Um, wait, is that nuts? That's really good for next turn. If these things live, I can get four mana. What is this again? Rat trap. Jesus Christ. Wait, this is a really spicy game. Ooh, what are you going to do? Steals my yog, right? Wait, what? Wait, that's broken. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I guess I'm okay with doing this. Just tanking the damage. I got the armor anyways, right? They like win and fatigue kind of. It's kind of bad. But like next turn is it's like insanely, insanely powerful. Okay. Yeah. Nature speaks through my tunes. All right, the rat's huge here. They don't answer it. Please don't answer it. Please don't answer my rat. The rat's actually so. The rat right now. Wait, they just they just kill it though. <laughs> wait. Oh my god, their deck is insane. Wait. I, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh man, man. Wait, what? Is that just in his deck? How much damage is this? Can I kill him? Hold on, it would be this. I'm gonna go for the kill. This. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I should have should have outplayed that. <laughs> should have should have outplayed that. Yeah. 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 See, yeah. All that value for nothing. Big. We'll take it. We'll take it every day of the week, my guy.